Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, I am very barefaced today because I am doing the no makeup tag and I am very excited about this tag. I think it's a great tag. I think it's a great way to just show off your bare face, be confident about it, and um, I'm going to answer some questions, so I'm going to get straight to that. I think there's only eight questions, so this shouldn't be quick. Um, this should be pretty quick. shouldn't be very long. Okay, the first question is, Scouts honor that you aren't wearing any makeup. Yes, I'm not wearing any makeup. As you can see, some of my friends decided to join the no makeup party today. So, um, the only thing I have on my face is just my regular um, non-tinted moisturizer. That's the only thing I have on my face. I don't have anything else. Um, number two is, one. what is one makeup product that you cannot live without? I would have to say, honestly, my beauty blender. I think that ever since I got that, I got that um, for Christmas in 2012. And I honestly think that that's just changed the way I, I put on my foundation, my concealer. I love the way it goes on. I love the, the idea that, you, you know, you dampen it and it just applies your foundation flawlessly. And I just really don't think that I could ever go back to just using brushes exclusively to apply my foundation. Even before that, I used to um, apply my foundation with just like the little uh, latex sponges or non-latex sponges. And I just liked the way it applied like that. So I'm so glad that the Beauty Blender is in my life. I don't think I could honestly live without the Beauty Blender. If you haven't tried a Beauty Blender before, I would recommend going to try it. And I would recommend trying the original Beauty Blender. I know it's expensive, but I just don't think those dupes really have any business being in your makeup collection. Personally, I think that there was just no matching the original Beauty Blender. So yeah. The next question is, what is one makeup product you can live without? Um, I don't know. What can I live without? I mean, I could pretty much live without a lot of stuff. I mean, I rarely use a lot of the uh, eyeshadow palettes I have. For some reason, I'm not like a huge eyeshadow person. I mean, I've really just been using like, my, my Naked 3 lately, and then I got the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I mean, I think I could probably live without a good 50% of the makeup uh, of the eyeshadow palettes that I have. Because I'm very like, I'm very like a, a routine person, like I like to wear the same things a lot, so I will rarely go back to some of my old palettes, which I probably need to do. I think I'd probably, would definitely save the Naked 2, the Naked 3, and maybe a couple of the, <coughs> the Wet n Wild palettes? I don't know. I've, I definitely could live without having like 15 million eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> Um, uh, number four, do you feel confident without makeup on? I do. I don't wear makeup every day, absolutely not. I wear, don't wear makeup less often than I do wear makeup. Um, <coughs> and I think, um, uh, this kind of question is a little bit loaded because I think that a lot of people, especially of the male species, like to think that women wear makeup because they're trying to hide their face, because they're ugly, because they're not beautiful underneath. And that's not the case. I like, I wear makeup because I like it. I generally like doing makeup. I like playing with colors and I like purchasing these items and trying them out and then you guys know what uh, what I think about them and I just I like the way it makes me feel as a person I don't wear makeup to go out and get a date or go out and impress somebody no I wear I wear makeup for me and sometimes when I'm just <coughs> wanting to go run an errand and I don't want to spend, you know, 20 minutes putting my makeup on, I will absolutely go without makeup on and I'll feel fine. But, I mean, I like I said, I do makeup for me and I think everyone should do makeup for themselves. They should not do it to impress anybody. I mean, obviously if you want to look put together, maybe you're going to work, that's, it's okay, but I think that you, just like everything else in life, you should just do makeup to make yourself feel better. Uh, number five, which part of your face do you like the most? Um, uh, I guess my eyes. They're just, they're brown, but, um, they're, they're sort of like a different, they have like weird kind of shades of brown to them, so I really do like my eyes, even though I wear my glasses all day, so you really can't see them that much, but yeah, it's definitely one part of my body that I like, or my face rather. Um, number six, where is one place you will never go without makeup on? I will go anywhere without makeup, honestly. Um, I, I mean... I usually put on makeup when I go out, like if I'm going out, like physically going to go out, like go grocery shopping, I probably um, maybe would not wear makeup, like would not go without makeup if I was going to like buy makeup, like if I was going to Sephora or something, I probably would want to look put together because um, it seems like every time I go into Sephora or something, one of the people there compliment me on my makeup, so I'm just like, hey. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just like putting on makeup, just like I said, to make myself feel better, so... <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, like, avoid a place just because I didn't have makeup on. Be like, whatever, I'm going to go buy something. You're going to take my money no matter what I look like, so. Uh, where... 
Where, th this is weird. These questions are kind of like contradictory. The last one was, where is one place you will never go without makeup on? And then this, number seven is, where is one place you can go without makeup on? Anywhere. I'll go anywhere without, without makeup on. It doesn't matter. If I have to do what I have to do, I'm going to do it. And if I don't have time to do my makeup, I'm, you know, I'm not going to reschedule or anything. Um, number eight. The last question, actually. Would you rather go without makeup for a week or let your boyfriend do your makeup for an entire week? Well, I don't have a boyfriend, so I guess... Um, I would go without makeup for an entire week because I honestly do not let I don't like people touching my face in general <laughs> and I, I probably wouldn't let anybody any nobody I know I would let do my makeup um, even like makeup artists because I just think that every person has like their personal preference of how they like their makeup on it's the same with my hair I don't want anybody to touch my hair so I would definitely just go without makeup for a week I've done it before I do a lot, especially in the summer when it's hot, and I'm going to sweat it off anyway. So, yeah, that was it. There was only eight questions. That's it. So, yeah, I hope, like I said, I hope this tag catches on. I hope that you guys um, are brave enough to do it. It really is no big deal. Um, no matter what, I know that a lot of people have, have issues with their skin. I have issues with my skin, as you can see. I've got some breakouts right here. I've got some active breakouts. I have horrible dark circles. Uh, but, I mean, I'm confident because, you know, true beauty comes from inside. It doesn't come from what you put on your face. Makeup is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to make you feel better. It's not supposed to make you feel like you're more beautiful, but it's supposed to just make you feel better because you're having fun. You're playing with makeup. You're doing all these, you know, things with colors and with the, the different trends and the different seasons. And I just think that um, you definitely should use makeup to just boost your confidence instead of um, masking yourself because no matter what it's it's what's on the inside that counts and um, yeah hope that you guys do this tag because it was a fun tag to do and I look forward to doing some more tags in the future and if you do do this tag or you have done it please comment below with it and um, I will see you guys in another video bye